Melissa Trussler, employed as a sales executive in Seattle, Washington, anticipated her upcoming 30th birthday in May 2017. Her father, Alan, residing in Colville, had grand plans to mark the occasion. Aware of Melissa's desire for a specific modern gray couch equipped with USB ports and reclining sections, Alan decided to contribute towards its purchase as a gift. A few days prior to Melissa's birthday, Alan intended to deposit $1,200 to facilitate the acquisition of the coveted couch. However, despite his well-meaning intentions, the money failed to reach Melissa. She only became aware of the situation when Alan unexpectedly contacted her. Their conversation left Melissa apprehensive as Alan informed her that he had mistakenly sent the money to someone else, a revelation recounted by Melissa herself in a 2017 interview with the News Tribune. Meanwhile, just 33 miles away from Seattle in Tacoma, Jerome McAllister experienced the shock of a lifetime, a subject line proclaiming, you've got money, where he discovered a $1,200 deposit in his account. Recalling his reaction to the unexpected windfall, McAllister likened it to a scene from the movies. You know how in the movies the person will open the briefcase, discover it's full of money, and then quickly shut it and look around to make sure no one was watching? Yeah, I definitely did that and I was definitely alone when it happened," he told the News Tribune. Unbeknownst to both McAllister and Melissa, it was Melissa's father who had mistakenly sent the money intended for his daughter to McAllister. Using Melissa's new cell phone number, Alan inadvertently directed the funds to McAllister, who still had the number linked to his PayPal account from before. Meanwhile, back in Seattle, Melissa frantically searched for a solution to reclaim the money. However, she was met with the disappointing news that she would need to resolve the issue herself. Consequently, the young woman found herself at a loss, grappling with the unexpected turn of events. While Melissa contemplated her next move, her father's phone pinged with a notification. To their amazement, McAllister had returned the money within a mere 30 minutes of receiving it. The trustlers must have felt like they'd hit the jackpot. Upon learning of this fortunate turn of events, Melissa reached out to express her gratitude to the stranger for his integrity. Little did she anticipate the profound response she would receive from McAllister. And, as it turned out, his sincere words deeply resonated with her. In his response, McAllister expressed, You're so very welcome, but if you could share with your family and friends that a low-income 28-year-old black man from Tacoma with a 5-year-old daughter returned your money, I would find that helpful in improving race relations while reaffirming the dope-ass culture we as Western Washingtonians have worked so hard to cultivate. He continued, that, in turn, would help me to stop kicking myself in the ass for remaining morally sound through the tough times my family and I are experiencing at the moment, lol. In short, share the story, spread the love. Thank you. Tragically, McAllister had experienced the loss of his beloved mother in December 2016, following a pulmonary embolism. Since then, the young father had been grappling with the weight of her absence. However, it was his mother's guidance that ultimately led him to return the money. Detailing the motivation behind his selfless gesture, McAllister shared with the News Tribune, My mom instilled in me the importance of not taking what isn't rightfully mine. She emphasized always striving to do what's right, even when no one is watching. It's what she called integrity. McAllister, speaking to the newspaper, expressed no remorse for not keeping the cash for himself. However, fate had its own plans, leading to an unexpected turn of events for the father. Moved to aid the stranger in his time of need, she even included his payment details. As a result, the donations began flowing in from McAllister shortly thereafter. Melissa later remarked to the News Tribune, I can assure you McAllister has received more money now than he would have if he had kept the money. As a result, donations began flowing in from McAllister shortly thereafter. Melissa later remarked to the News Tribune, I can assure you McAllister has received more money now than he would have if he had kept the money. She further noted, I believe people are deeply touched by his integrity. It's rare to see a stranger returning the money. McAllister found himself deeply moved by the generosity of strangers to the extent that he couldn't bring himself to check his PayPal balance. Nevertheless, he took comfort in reading the heartfelt messages accompanying many of the donations, which he later described as heartwarming. In a poignant display of ethical values, McAllister not only upheld his principles, but also served as a role model for his young daughter echoing the moral lessons instilled by his mother. She thinks it's wonderful, he shared with The Independent in 2017. She admires the fact that I demonstrate the same level of compassion as she does, as she is incredibly compassionate herself. 
Yet, as Melissa pointed out, one doesn't need to be a child to draw inspiration from McAllister's deeds. Speaking to the Independent, she remarked, I sense a prevailing tension at present. People seem to be disconnected. She emphasized, I believe this experience underscores the significance of spreading positivity.